it is now effectively, it could be an open convention. VCU political scientist Dr. John Augenbaugh says after President Joe Biden dropped out as his party's nominee Sunday, the question of how a successor is picked is unclear, but who is eventually picked is more certain. It would surprise me after what we've seen in less than 24 hours if the Democratic Party nominee is not Kamala Harris. Augenbaugh says after Biden announced he was stepping down, the delegates he won during his party's primary are no longer required to vote for him at next month's Democratic National Convention. Theoretically, free agents. He says a DNC rules committee that meets later this week will decide when those delegates get to have their say and are likely weighing whether to do it at the convention or beforehand. He expects they choose the latter option in order to meet a potential ballot deadline in Ohio. Plus, it would also allow them to, you know, say we already have our nominee. Whoever is running would need to win 1,976 convention delegates, but by Monday afternoon, it was becoming clear there would be likely only one person to choose from, as President Biden, Democrat leaders, and other likely contenders for the candidacy have all backed Vice President Kamala Harris. And I've signed myself up on that team as well. I believe she's the best person, the most qualified individual for the job. Richmond Mayor LeVar Stoney is a superdelegate in Virginia's delegation, meaning he'd only vote if a consensus wasn't reached in the first round, but as of Monday afternoon, the Associated Press says an unofficial survey of delegates showed over half were already behind Harris, as Stoney says she wasn't taking this for granted. And right now she's out there earning the nomination. She's working the phones throughout the country, calling into all the swing states, not leaving anyone behind, and you see that she's racking up these endorsements. Stoney says some state delegations have already pledged their votes to Harris and hopes Virginia will do the same. Now, if Harris does get the nomination, that opens up a VP spot on the ticket, and Agabas says technically the party could decide who fills that spot, but because of the circumstances, they would likely defer to who Harris would like to run with her. In Richmond, Cameron Thompson, CBS 6 News.